Hello friends, welcome to today's cloud tutorial of AWS Amazon Cloud Services. Today we will discuss about how to log into AWS console and exploring the various services, exploring your account, your billing and the other stuffs include inside your 3 tier. So today we will check out how to log into console and what are the services included in the AWS console which you can freely use what are the other services for which you will get charged so remember this thing that AWS providing you 750 hours of free trial period in a month so in a micro instance only not on the large instance and more than that so you need to keep in mind that whenever you are going to create some VM virtual machines and do your stuffs you need to remember that you have to select only the micro instance or the free tier instance only so that you can keep yourself uh, away from amazon costings and you can uh, just do the free stuffs in order to do practice or any development kind of work so let's go to the website awsamazon.com slash console and we will check over there so this is the AWS management portal. Uh, the guidance is already given over here that how you can uh, use the console documentation and articles tutorials also is provided over there through which you can check out the different kinds of documentation given on EC2 and S3 bucket and other how to uh, log into the console as well and development tools is also here public data sets Amazon machine images. Uh, Amazon is also providing its own image so you can also explore that there is a video as well so you can check out over there in order to get the more information and uh, in order to learn things so today we will sign in just click on sign in to the console and it will lead you to the signing page where you have to put your login ID and password remember that you have created previously the account in previous total I just guided you how to create your Amazon account for learning purpose or for development task. So you have to use that account and login over here. So it's loading right now. So now here uh, these are the services. These are the if you can just wrap it up you will get like that. Uh, various kinds of services, stuff, so what services is over here included where you can check that compute EC2, EC2 container service and elastic bin stake, lambda, batch, development tools is also there, analytics whenever you want to analyze something, the costing kind of thing like that, what kind of services or what kind of storage units you need and the VM machines, so you can uh, do some analytics before implementing any kind of thing, you do have the application service as well where you can check the function and other stuff so there are lots of things inside this uh, you have to choose that what kind of services you need so we will go to that part and here you can uh, just check it out that in all services you will get the same thing like that it's as I shown you earlier that all part of thing is included over here so whenever you want to create any virtual machines with by uh, taking the image of windows or linux operating system you just need to go to the ec2 uh, and from there you can select your vm you can quickly launch it from the ec2 or you can just give the description as well you can create the resource groups here you can check it out it will give you the description a resource group is a collection of resources that share one or more tags so means that if you're going to create vm first uh, then you uh, it will automatically assign a resource group but you can also go and create a resource group first and later on you can assign that to the different virtual machines or different kind of tags so if you can go on the right side you will find your account information where you can browse my account my organization my dash billing dashboard and my security credentials you can set this security over here this is the uh, 
regional data centers of Amazon. So you can check it out over here, US East and Virginia, US East, Rio, US West and California, US West, Oregon, Canada, EU, Ireland, Frankfurt, London. These are the zones you can select the nearest zone in order to uh, get uh, uh, the proper connection. Nearest will be the data center, your access will be more feasible and latency would be less. So you need to select any one of them uh, depends upon your uh, your location you need to select the nearest region from that. The uh, region is further on divided into various zones it may be A1 or A2 or uh, something like that. So it is whenever uh, when you select the zone it will automatically uh, take the various zones available in inside that uh, on the regions basis. So you can also check the support over here from where you can get the support center uh, from documentation and training and other resources. You can check it over here your billing amount you can if you can go to the my account you will get the other kind of stuffs like that your name your credential and all that and how your big billing system is working what kind of uh, billing uh, till to base date what kind of resources you have utilized and what kind of uh, billing they have did from their end. So it's a pretty uh, handy tool you can browse it over here you can collect your reports you can prepare your budget before if you would like to just do a test kind of thing then you can prepare budget and check it out over here that how much cost is going to recur in uh, for making uh, any organizational kind of uh, sets for the development task and other stuffs. So you can check it over here like that uh, in USD how much you are, you are going to pay. Currently this is 0, 0 because I have not used any kind of resource which is payable. So you must remember that in order to utilize your free tier, you have to go with the micro instance. You have to do all kind of tests with the micro instance only. And besides this, other things are payable. So you need to avoid this thing. And uh, uh, whenever you do your experiments, you do your uh, cloud computing in Amazon, you need to check it out that if there is no need of the other resources and the virtual machines and the network resources then you need to simply stop it or delete it so that it not get uh, uh, you know over hours running due to which maybe it can cost you. So you need to remember this part as well you can track your payment history, payment method, cost allocation tax reports you can snatch your reports tax setting, credit card and other preferences as well. You can also download it in CSV and also print it out in the future perspective. So uh, overall this is the you know this is the pretty handy dashboard from there you can look it out all there and if you can browse it to the EC2 instance you will get white how you can use it and how you can uh, simply go to this settings and create. So here in EC2 dashboard you will get all kind of much, means how much uh, instance is running and how much dedicated host you have, how much volume you have created, how much key pair you have, have security group, elastics, IP and snapshot is all that. And this is the uh, default VPC, the virtual private cloud and in which all your resources and all your virtual machines and get attached. So there, here is the all stuffs of the EC2 instance. Here you can check it out and instance if uh, these are the other tags and reports from there you can get it your instance details, details and all that. So uh, before uh, going to really implement any kind of thing I would like to suggest you go to this portal go to your console and check the every dashboard every services properly so that you can utilize it in more efficient way and uh, avoid the costing from Amazon. So if, if you uh, go to the EC and launch the instance from there it will automatically tell you what kind of you know uh, 
uh, VM, VM you would like to utilize and what kind of things are included in the free tier so it will guide you as well but you need to also keep in mind that you are using a free tier and you need to prevent the costing so that you just specify the things which is free available in the free tier only so if you can check it out the, out the zones the regions is further divided into zones so these are the availability zones means that there are lots of uh, us east us west and the asia pacific zone and this uh, asia pacific region sorry and these regions is further divided into availability sets like that ap south 1a availability and ap south 1b so these are in the uh, further division of the cloud structure further division of the amazon cloud data centers in which you can uh, put your vms these are the nearest to me that's why i have selected it uh, what is nearer to you depends upon your location so you need to select the zones over here and after that you will get your all instance like that you have created some something in your us and virginia and uh, you are currently on some other uh, region then you will not able to see your vms and the resources or the you know vpc because of that you have selected some other reason if i am se i'm selecting over here i i'm checking that i don't have any kind of like that volumes or dedicated host running host or key pairs is here but if i will i'm going here and select uh, the mumbai asia pacific region again i would be able to see my volumes the virtual machines and the instance over here see see here uh, see over here uh, uh, now i am able to see volume key pair and security group as well as well as the vpc default vpc so this is the fact that sometime what is happening user is unable to see their resources because of that they are in the different zone uh, different reason so you need to be careful about working with the regions because um, based on this reason the, your resource is lying over here so i would like to suggest you before going to implement something uh, in a hasty way please go to this portal and check it everything properly check your ec dashboard your s3 bucket and your reason a specific reason in which region you would like to create your uh, virtual machines and add the Uh, different kind of stuffs and uh, utilize the applications and network resources so that it would be easy for you to recognize the things and learn all the parts in a easy way so as of now uh, it's all friends uh, very soon i would be i will be available uh, with a new video in which you would be able to learn how to create clouds uh, virtual machines in vpc and what are the other resources which is going to associate with that cloud virtual machine and how you can select the free tier free tier vms and what are the you know uh, images available and uh, what kind of images you can use the windows the linux and the other stuffs so uh thanks for watching and